Welcome to Leader Group and the Audio Rescue Detection and Location System. The Audio Rescue is part of our new generation of technical search and rescue equipment. This cutting-edge technology has evolved over many years of working with USAR teams around the world. The Audio Rescue is supplied fully self-contained in a lightweight portable protective case. The case is totally waterproof and, with its foam padding, protects the equipment from shock and vibration. Intuitive design and technology make this system easily deployed, immediately operational and simple to use. The system is made up of three main components, up to six seismic sensors, an acoustic sensor and the control module. The Audio Rescue Detection System is a combination of the latest seismic and acoustic technologies. Seismic sensors are used to detect sound vibrations generated by a victim's movement or voice, which then travel through the structural mass of the collapse or other means of entrapment. The acoustic sensor detects sound vibrations traveling through the airspace of the mass. The audio rescue effectively turns the entire collapse into a powerful amplifier, converting the faintest of sound from any entrapped victim into visual and audible signals. Let's look now at the unit's applications and deployment. Understanding these is crucial to maximize the system's full potential. Once the search area has been determined, you will need to map out this area. Good planning at this stage will optimize the whole search procedure. It is important to recognize that any collapsed structure can be made up of many different materials and that, where possible, it is important to locate the sensors on similar materials. This will give far greater accuracy in determining the victim's location. Steel structures or pipes conduct sound very well. However, these often meander through a building in many directions, taking the sound along its length, which can give an incorrect location of a victim. Therefore, great caution should be used when using the sensors in this way. Attempts should be made to attach the sensors to solid parts of the collapsed structure, which are the most likely to conduct sound from deep within the collapse. These could be foundations, walls, beams, columns or ceilings. Materials most likely to carry sound range from excellent to poor. Excellent. Steel, concrete, solid brick and glass. Good. Loose concrete, rubble brick, gravel and wood. Fair. Wet soil and compacted soil. Poor. Dry sand, snow, acoustic tile, carpet and fiberglass. Each sensor is omnidirectional and is not position sensitive. However, it is important to ensure that all sensors in use are always in the same orientational axis. The sensors rely on mechanical vibrations conducted through the structure. So the key to optimizing these sounds is a good mechanical connection between the material and the sensor. The sensors can be sighted on metal by attaching magnetic holders. Attaching spikes to the sensors allows sighting in loose material like gravel or soil, but also in crevices and holes, where the spike can be pushed in or wedged securely. Or they can be weighted down with a rock, or clamped to a concrete beam or column. The tough and rugged IP67 rated connectors give superb dexterity, allowing quick and simple deployment. Color coding adds to the simplicity, whilst the unique strain relief design enhances the ruggedness and durability of the system. The control module incorporates a visual display, showing distinct signal strengths from up to six sensors simultaneously and has a peak level indicator to help the identification of the strongest signal. Access to audio conversion of seismic noise is available via one or two sets of high quality headphones, allowing two operators to work together. The simple to use menu allows easy monitoring of sensor and volume gains. Also, with variable high and low filtering, unwanted environmental noises can be blocked out. 
Various search patterns can be adopted using different sensor configurations. The audio rescue is ideal for both primary search, detection, and secondary search location. Use as many sensors as possible to systematically cover the grid map for viable victim detection. Keep the sensors linear and monitor for the highest peak readings. Ensure all sensors are in listening mode and the filters should ideally be off. Once a victim has been detected, location techniques can be implemented. Although it can be affected by the variables of the collapse, the strongest signal generally indicates a victim's location. Whilst leaving the highest peak sensor in place, realign the other sensors in a circular pattern around the loudest one. Continue to move all sensors closer to the highest peak sensor until all readings are equal. Location should then be successfully accomplished. Once a victim has been detected, a 2-inch core hole can be created using the LIDA VT100 coring machine. The audio rescue is equipped with a waterproof intercom probe, which can be used simultaneously with the seismic sensors to enable the rescuers to communicate with the victim and to determine more accurate positioning whilst reassuring the trapped victim. Try to stay calm. We'll be with you as quickly as we can. To ensure continual monitoring so as not to miss essential signs of life, the victim's microphone is constantly open while the rescuers operate a push-to-talk feature. The battery pack can be charged by mains power or from any vehicle with a cigarette lighter. The charge time for the battery pack is 2 hours and the operational running time is 8 hours. There is also an optional 30-hour runtime battery available. Power can also be supplied from standard AA batteries by using the supplied battery case. After use, the audio rescue requires little maintenance apart from cleaning off debris or dust. This can be done by simply using a damp cloth with a light detergent if necessary. The Leader Sentry is audio rescue and Visio search systems from Leader Group have been proven to be reliable, effective and simple to use, delivering a global solution for search and rescue teams. We hope you have found this presentation helpful and informative. For more information on this or any other rescue equipment product from the LEADER Group range, please visit our website at www.leader-group.eu.